The painting chosen to celebrate the Annunciation is in many ways unique. The artist is Henry Ossawa Tanner, the first African-American artist to gain international acclaim. He lived through the Civil War, the First World War and the Great Depression. Born in 1859, he enrolled at the Pennsylvania Academy of Fine Arts in 1879 as the only black artist and was fortunate to be taken under the wing of one of America's finest artists, who at that time was a professor, Thomas Eakins. He emigrated to France in 1891 and rarely returned to the USA. By 1895, he was creating mainly religious works, and after visiting Egypt and Palestine in 1897, he painted his masterpiece. The Annunciation, his largest canvas, which is in the Philadelphia Museum of Art, is the innovative use of a column of light to stand for Gabriel, the angel of the Annunciation, a light which pervades the whole room. On the right-hand side of the painting is a small recess where a small candle giving little light contrasts with the heavenly light of the angel. We can only speculate as to the age of Mary, but she could have been as young as 15 or 16. Life expectancy was very different from today. But although we can observe wonderment, apprehension and unease in Mary, there is a virtuous acceptance and faith as she responds. Let it be done to me as you have said. Mary is a supreme role model for us to trust in the Lord as she did. How is she going to explain to her parents and friends, how she became pregnant. How will they respond? Perhaps we should intercede for Mary so that the Lord will grant us that level of trust. Returning to his innovative idea of painting the angel, as a pillar of light. When we look closely, it seems to form a cross with the shelf at the top left corner. The support for the shelf on the right gives the impression of a crucifix. In the alcove on the right-hand side of the painting, one can faintly observe a cross. The traditional colours of Mary, red and blue, are seen in the cloths to the left and right of Mary. We all have to allow a painting to speak to us. The pillar of light reminds me of the Lord going before the Israelites as they left Egypt. They were guided by a pillar of cloud during the day and a pillar of fire at night. Exodus chapter 13, verse 21. The Lord will always be before Mary in her life, her guide, 
her protection. But Mary is aware also of the dark days as well. Yet Mary still says, I am the Lord's servant. May it happen to me. As you have said. Let that be our response too. Let us also be guided by the light of God every day. But what is also important is what do you see in the painting? 